Welcome to number one home remedy for getting rid of pests, insects on your precious marijuana plants. Yeah, feel me. Them damn spider mites are part of the mite family. These little fuckers are related to spiders, ticks, and other mites. Although they're a common marijuana pest, these lil fucks can be very difficult to get rid of. Spider mites have tiny razor-sharp mouths that pierce and penetrate individual plant cells and suck out the contents. They suck the life out of your marijuana plants like Shang Ti Sun. This results in the tiny yellow, orange or white speckles you see on your plant's precious leaves. Rapid reproduction, a single mature female spider mite can produce a million mites in less than a month. Disappearing act, spider mites often appear to be gone, killed, then they come back with a vengeance days or weeks later, right when you thought you've gotten rid of them for good. Big appetites, spider mites can eat up your tender plants in an amazingly short amount of time, a bad infestation has been known to kill plants overnight. Webbing, spider mites cover leaves and buds with a fine mesh of silk webbing, ruining whole crops even after you get rid of the spider mites. Zombie-like resistance, spider mites quickly become immune to whatever you do to try to kill them, if you don't take care of your spider mite problem by eradicating them completely from your grow room, you may soon find you have a population of super mites. Specializes in cannabis seems to be particularly resistant to insecticides and is sometimes referred to as the Borg in the cannabis growing community. These Borg spider mites with two spots on their back can be almost impossible to get rid of. Spider mites often go unnoticed at first because they are so tiny that they look like spots to the naked eye. Male spider mites are about 1 50th of an inch long, 0.5 mm, while females are slightly smaller at about 1 64.4 mm. Because of this variable growth process, it's common to think that you've eradicated the spider mites in your grow room while they're secretly building up numbers in one of their immature stages. This is why it's so important to keep treating your grow room after a spider mite infestation even if it appears that all the spider mites are gone. Just pretend they're hiding and doing push-ups, just building up their numbers for a second infestation. Treat your grow room like a war zone, and don't allow the spider mites to build up any numbers and attack again. Kill every spider mite you can. Kill the spider mites. The mites like the heat and hate a windy environment. A cool breezy grow space won't get rid of spider mites, but it makes it harder for them to reproduce so your other control methods are more effective. If it's possible for you to bring your plants outside or somewhere safe, you might even consider spraying off as many spider mites as you can, to get their numbers down before you start your main treatments. Get a fan blowing over the plants and top of growing medium. Not only do plants grow better with a breeze, great air circulation is great for pest prevention. Spider mites love heat and stagnant, non-moving air. They can't mate in windy conditions so a strong fan can help keep the infestation from getting worse. A breeze also helps pest treatments go better because fans help spray treatments dry on the plant. Hey butthead, what is that? Oh, that's a mite. Yeah, yeah, a mite. A mite. Oh. Oh, shut up, Angus. You might wanna uh, get off my weed. Oh, 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 that might be your mom, Angus. your remedy right now so without further ado 92% water 8% alcohol once again 92% agua 
8% isopropyl alcohol. So all you got to do is get a spray bottle, right? Like that. Right. Boom. 90, 92% water. 8% alcohol. So this is what you use right here. And I just saved your whole crop. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Basically what the video didn't mention is you got to spray underneath the leaves. That's where most of the mites and shit get. And then if you got like I had these little black flies and shit in the soil. Spray the soil Take with that A little that bit shit. of alcohol, a little bit of water. Ain't going to hurt your plant. But just keep them repetition. Keep spraying them. Check under the leaves and everything. That's where they be. Boom, 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 boom. Hit them. You good. Good to go. Get my new album, Independent Success. Smoke it, pass it. I'm going to play a song for y'all right now. I, if you don't get the album, at least come get the Smoke It, Pass It song. You know what I mean? Real talk. Smoke it, pass it, 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 smoke it, pass